Hello and welcome to another episode of Tottenham Transfer Talk. I am here with Craig Mitch, oh, ho, ho. as usual. I'm going to be running down all the latest transfer news from Spurs. First of all, Nkudu. Now, Nkudu. we talked about him in Spurverts. Nkudu is close, at time of filming, is close to signing. Yep. We know that he's like come for a medical. His barber announced it on Instagram, oh. saying that he had just got a fresh trim before coming to get his medical at Tottenham. Yeah. What do you make of the guy? Do you know much about him? I don't know much about him. Apparently, he is... The French, if he is French, well, he played in League 1. He is, I think he's French, yeah. He is the French Raheem Sterling that just didn't get the call up to the Euros, uh, as far as I know. OK. Uh, he's only 21. He's only 21. Young, young, he's young. Plays for Marseille. Obviously, Marseille having uh, financial issues. Trying yeah. to get rid of a lot of players. Obviously, they got rid of Batshuayi, sort of player yeah. he was linked to. So, do you think... I thought Spurs might be slightly more angry with Marseille. But they wouldn't uh, after what they did. But we didn't. But they didn't do anything. Nah. I was thinking that, and then I realised we didn't even bid for Batshuayi. So there's no dealings going on there. It's yeah, all just I don't in the think fans' that. heads. They weren't. It was more to do with the player. But obviously, uh, we were scouting Batshuayi. They kept an eye on him as well. Yeah. So when they had it in their peripheral. Yeah, they obviously went. Actually, that kid's even better. Yeah, he's probably not even better. Batshuayi sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> Forty-one appearances last year for Marseille. Yeah. Ten goals, five assists from the left wing. What do you make of that? Stats wise, we decent. don't know if all of those 41 are starts. They're probably yeah. not. Yeah, I mean, decent. I mean, I think we need width. That's the most important thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Lamella, yeah. Ericsson, they play wide for us, wide, uh, but they like to cut in, shoot. Yeah, and those three, the, the, the front three behind Harry Kane, they kind of rotate their positions yeah. anyway, don't they? Them are wingers. And it'd be nice to have someone who can come on and kind of play, maybe even just for the last 20 minutes as an out and out winger, test yeah. defenders in that way. If it'd be we nice need to have a plan that width B, to whip a ball in. But also just like, just for within a game, rather than for starting, like fine, start with your with your plan A, posh, yeah. with the positions you want. But then, like at half time, to be able to go, all right, it's not working out. Let's try getting some width on the pitch. Yeah, let's whip a ball let's in. Whip a ball in. Think we whip let's go back to the in. glory days of Aaron Lennon. Exactly. In the squad. Just well, not him because he used to just yeah. dink them in. No, like, Aaron Lennon, power. absolutely quality down the wing. Matty Etherington. That's what I want to feel like. I want to see Matty Etherington back at the lane. Yeah. Okay. Who's with me? All right. Sort of. <laughs> But yeah, um, how much is he, How much are we signing him for? Thirteen million euros is the, is the figure, which is about million. eleven million. It's not dealing euros, okay? Eleven million in, pounds. We're not in We've left. anymore, so we haven't dealing left pounds, yet. mate. Thirteen point eight. I'm hearing. No. Nope. No, like ten point eight, eleven, eleven ish. That's it. Uh, million quid. Quid. I mean, the, the, the pounds. What is that in two thousand and sixteen? What is that in two thousand and sixteen? It's not that's that like much. That's like the old three million. But he's a, he's a he's a sort of unproven twenty-one year old. I think that's. It's quite a lot of money for a player yeah. like that. It might pay off, who knows? But it'd be interesting. I think it would be good. We don't know enough about him, but he's a very different... We've got a lot of attacking midfielders, basically. Yeah. Yeah. But he's a very different type of attacking midfielder. All of ours are kind of quite similar. Yeah. He's not going to start above Ericsson. Oh, no. He's not going to start... Probably not going to start above Lamella. Not going to start above Ali. Son. NG. Chadley. Exactly. He'll be in the mix. He'll be in the mix with them. It'd be interesting. Who knows? Apparently, Marseille only paid a million for him one year ago. Wow. So they're that making some horrific. sweet profit, a bit like the Vincent Janssen Le prof. profit, Le prof. where they paid, what, like a few hundred thousand for him and then God, we splashed the cash. So it'd be a good deal for them. Do you think it's um, our last bit of business or? Oh, I hope not. OK. Hope it isn't. I think. See what happens. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get someone else. Supposedly, though, and G uh, might be going back the other way to sweeten the deal. I don't know if that's true. We I don't know if that's true. These are all rumours. Yeah. These are all rumours from various sources. It might help push the Nkudu deal through. Uh, some are saying it'll be in the same deal as part exchange. Some are saying it'll be a completely different deal. We'll pay the money and then we'll just sell NG back. I don't know. I mean, if that was to happen, that would literally be a Stambouli 2.0. Signed him from a French team, yeah, kept him for anything. a season, and then gave him back to another French team. What would be the point? Do you think it would be fair? hasn't even played. Yeah, nah, he was injured. He, he was injured for yeah, most of he was, it. Yeah, he was injured for most of last season. The little spells he came on... He was a bit pacey, had a couple shots, you know. I Admittedly, think be, they went over the bar, but he took a couple shots. I think it would be a bit unfair because yeah. I think the difference between NG and Stambouli is that NG, when you watch him play, he's very raw and he's got a lot of potential and he's just not had the game time yet to prove himself. Whereas Stambouli, you could see what kind of player he was. You he's could see donkey. what he was capable of and he just didn't quite fit in the right philosophy. Yeah. So it made sense to get rid of Stambouli because you go, OK, we tried that, it didn't work. Whereas NG, it's just like, you can see that he just needs a bit of time. Yeah. And fine, he might, it might end up not working out, but yeah, it's I mean, stupid to send him back so early. It's been a season and he hardly played any game. It would yeah. be absolutely ludicrous to send him back exactly. so quickly. But I mean, actually I'm saying that now and now I'm like, but I mean, a loan wouldn't be that, we're not exactly no, giving him away. A no, a loan, a loan wouldn't be bad. Allow him to harness his craft yeah. a bit more. But how much can you do that in League 1? Oh. I don't know. You know would it, wouldn't it be more sense to go to like a championship team where it's still English football? Slamming, slamming the French, God. 
Yeah, but it's just leave the that, EU no, but the physicality, the physicality, the the you know everything about it. it yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although, yeah, I guess we kind of thought that with Yedlin, but uh, I don't know if Yedlin's Or a lower Premier League team, you know? Like, well, yeah, exactly. So Who knows? I don't know. I wouldn't mind necessarily I don't think NG should be going. I don't think he should be going. No, but we yeah. shouldn't sell him. Definitely not. Bags of, Bags of potential. Bags of potential. And the final uh, supposed rumour is that we are out of the race to sign Wijnaldum. And you'd think that that is related to the Nkudu signing. Wijnaldum is a winger. Yeah. Um, and they wanted 20 million for him. If we get an Nkudu for, you know, 11 million. I think it's more million, the price tag, yeah. It's price tag. Also, uh, by the way, this is not confirmed. It's just various sources are reporting that we are out of the race. Uh, Liverpool are apparently favourites to sign Wijnaldum now for 20 million. Do they, do they just throw money around Liverpool? They just don't no. care, do they? They really it. don't care. I know. We're, uh, we're a bit more... Savvy. <laughs> okay. I just don't know I was what Liverpool. Say tight. I don't know what Liverpool. I just. I feel like how many how many strikers have they got at the moment? Yeah, they've got a lot. Well, but Wayne Adams not a striker. He's a I winger. Know, but they've got just, a lot of attacking players. Just, they, but they just oversign players. Yeah, they do. It, and then and then decide to get rid of them off. I mean, all right, look, Wayne Adam, good player, scored eleven goals. I believe that's like the same amount as Deli Ali, I think, because last season. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Uh, he was For good. a relegated side as well. To be well. honest, I would have preferred him to um, Nkudu. He's oh, played in the Premiership, exactly. is that why? Exactly, he scored a lot of goals and he's Dutch and we have Janssen now, so they would have a bit of chemistry. Right. A bit of chem, you know? Yeah, FIFA Ultimate style. Team. Oh, yeah, a bit of chem like right that. there. I like that. So, um, don't know if it works in real life. Don't know if it works in real life. I think it does. The Belgian brothers have proved that it does a little life bit. Works. Yeah, Biology, fair enough. physics, all of that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, honestly, I think we should have got Ronaldo instead, but... For double the price, more or less, 20 mil? Yeah, I don't know. It seems like a more appropriate Liverpool signing because you've got to bear in mind it's 20 million, but Liverpool are going to get some money, uh, probably about 1 million from selling Balotelli. So 25 fine, million. Oh, it's gone right, up to, it's, it's coming, literally it's in the coming. last minute, it's gone up to it's 25 coming. million. Yeah. In the last minute, that's it's how just, much they want. He's up to uh, 20, 25 mil, wow. definitely not worth it. 25 mil. F that. That is way too, too much. much. 20 million was my Newcastle personal limit. Newcastle are milking it. So Sissoko has a good Euros. They bump up his price tag. A bit of interest from us. And when Alden starts crying, oh, please, I want to go. And they're doing this. Like yeah. Mike Ashley ain't got enough money they from got that profit on Towns direct. End. Yeah, they did. Christ. Yeah, they did. They did. They did. But that's Wheel what's happening. Dealers. They've seen Towns ain't gotten out. And all these players want to get out of Get rid of all their wingers. Sick of wingers. They want to go down Don't the Geordie ship. Don't need him. Well, so I'm. Qu- I, I mean, I think Wijnaldum would be a good signing. Um, I was always quite positive about him when we were talking about him being rumoured before. I think he'd be a good signing, but yeah. I'm not. I'm not gutted at all. No, I don't feel. No, gutted. no I'm not. I'm not gutted. I, I mean, he was someone I wanted to sign. If that was going to be the attacking midfielder that we was going to be after, yeah. he was at the top of my list. But like we've always said, uh, we trust in Poch. In Poch, we trust. That's what and we in have Paul to do. Mitchell, we trust. You've been right in the past. So we will trust you again. I'm not so sure about Paul Mitchell. I think he gets a bit too much. I'm just going to stick with Poch for now. Fair Paul enough. Mitchell, mate, I just... Never a video without at least some controversy from Craig. Hey, <laughs> Paul. It's not personal, mate. It's business. Fair enough. There you go. Let us know in the comments what you think of the Nkudu signing. Have you seen much of him? I know a lot of you watch these YouTube montages. Let us know. Uh, whether you thought he was good in those. If you think he'd be a good player, he'd fit in with Spurs. Is he going to start? Is he going to push Ericsson out of the squad or Lamella or Son or anyone like that? Is he? Uh, Clinton and G, would you like to see him go back the other way to France? Uh, or do you think bags of potential, keep him for a little bit longer? And Wijnaldum, how do you feel about that? Would it be a good signing for Liverpool if they were to get him? Uh, but more importantly, are you gutted that we seem to be out of the race here at Spurs? Uh, make sure to like the video yep. if you liked it. And even if you didn't, doesn't matter, don't care. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and we'll see you next time. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts. It's me, Craig Mitz, joined by Reese James. How's Hello. it going? Not too bad. How are you? I'm good. All right. So on this episode, we're going to be talking about the Champions League draw. They've announced a date for it. Uh, the preseason 